Hey, what's up? It's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing and taking a look at, for the first time, the Older Cube iPlay 60 Lite. Now, this is the world's first 11 inch 4G tablet with Android 14. And so it comes with a stylus pen. It's also going to come with a case as well. You're, you're getting an 11 inch IPS LCD display with Android 14 and 8,000 milliamp hours battery life. You also will be getting the Widevine L1 support with Netflix. Now you can see this does come with that case, which I was talking about. And inside the box, it's going to come with a lot of accessories. So this is a 4G E LTE enabled tablet, which is going to be able to run on your SIM card for data. But if you're brand new to the crew, I truly appreciate you for coming through. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and get notified for more videos just like this. But if you're already a part of the crew, salute. So after taking the older cube iPlay 60 Lite out of the box, I was greeted with a keyboard accessory that came with it along with the case which was a smoky material with a gray inside material. You also did get an adapter that was pretty cool and a type C uh, pair of headphones that you can actually plug into that tablet as well as a charging cable and the power brick. Now I wanted to give a special thanks to all the cube because they did send this tablet out to me for review, but they didn't actually watch this video before it was released. So all the thoughts that I'm actually presenting here are my own and they didn't see this video before you. So you will be seeing this at the same time as all the cube. So I was impressed with the 11 inch display on this device. It was a really nice display to look at as well because it does capture a pretty decent amount of detail when you're using it. You're getting the 12,000 times 800 display, so it's not going to be full HD, but it definitely will be a vivid enough, vivid enough to enjoy uh, immersive content. So one of the things that I did notice is that the display did give you some pretty good colors. It also was pretty, pretty bright in an indoor situation. The build quality was actually really premium with the metal design. So like I said, you're getting that um, really nice camera on the back. You also do get a nice, um, you know, borderless. It has a pretty decent um, amount of bezel, but it's still very thin bezels when it comes to the overall design compared to a lot of other devices in this price point. So, you know, the bezels were pretty thin. You also do get pin recognition for unlocking the security feature on this tablet. So you won't get facial ID and you won't actually get the fingerprint sensor on here, but you will get enhanced 4G LTE and voice over LTE support with crystal clear call-in and internet connection when you're browsing the web and streaming with videos and you know stuff like that you know file downloads everything is going to be running very fast overall so i didn't run into any issues now all the 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 company promises that you're going to get off of the 8000 milliamp hour battery running on here 10 hours of watching videos 32 hours of listening to music and 16 hours of surfing the web on the immersive display that this thing is going to have to offer. So like I said, it's going to have a, a narrow bezel look to it. Android 14 running on here with, you know, updates coming in with the software, you know, update app on this device. You also do get Intel technology on the display and it is pretty vivid. One of the things that actually makes this device worth getting is that it does have support with the Widevine L1 certification, which is going to allow you to enjoy content in full HD 1080p resolution without sacrificing quality. So that includes YouTube, Disney, Prime Video, Hulu, and a whole lot more. So, you know, the stylus that does come with this thing is actually pretty useful. I was able to basically go from one app to another with it and didn't have to worry about any major stutters or hiccups. The software did run really smooth, especially because it had a rapid performance with the ample storage and memory. So you're getting up to 12 gigabytes of RAM. You get four gigabytes of RAM plus an eight extra virtual gigabytes of memory. Um, so virtually they will add up to eight 
and you do get the 128 um, gigabytes of RAM on here of that up that expandable up to 512 with a micro SD card uh, that you can actually put in here so when it came to gaming this thing is going to be running on the you know Unisoc T606 processing chip which is a chipset that actually never let me down I, I did enjoy watching um, you know uh, videos on this thing because of the really nice design also the speakers on this device you won't have to sacrifice any um, you know um, anything when it comes to the audio because when it comes to the audio it's very immersive it's going to elevate the audio experience with the stereo speakers which provides you a smart pa technology for watching movies tv series binging gaming and immersing yourself in a world of rich sound and entertainment on this device cameras did actually come out pretty good on here so we're getting a 13 megapixel on the rear and a 5 megapixel on the front and I didn't have any issues with that. So, you know, you're not gonna be taking a ton of pictures on this device because it is basically a multimedia device, but you could take pictures running on this device. So you will get Bluetooth, you know, um, the five gigahertz network as well. So you can stay connected to your internet, um, which is really nice. And GPS is loaded on here. So you can, you know, get navigate from Point A to point B. I did like the fact that this um, device did offer a really good experience when it came to the audio, which was a really important feature when it comes to a tablet. The price is really good on this device as well. And as far as the overall performance that I was getting on this device, I could highly recommend it, especially because you can, you know, basically use all your applications on here. Whether you're, you know, um, reading ebooks, you know, um, browsing through some of your favorite apps that you use on a daily basis, you have some really, really good security with the Android 14 running on this device, and then you get the 4G LTE network, so you can actually, you know, um, you know, go anywhere with it. You also do get accessories that come packed along with this device, such as the case which is going to allow you to use it with the keyboard that they did actually, you know, offer right out of the box. So that's another solid feature. So the keyboard actually was pretty good on here. One of the things that I did notice is that the space key, you had to press a little bit harder than the other keys. So that was something that I did notice while I was typing on here, but I was ma managing to play Call of Duty Mobile Warzone without any issues whatsoever. It actually performed very well. The graphics on Call of Duty Mobile on here were absolutely absurd. There was no frame drops whatsoever, and it just looked really, really, really accurate when it came to the detail. I was using my handheld gaming controller and so I didn't run into any issues whatsoever. Um, I was able to get like 20 kills or something like that when I was gaming with Call of Duty. I was also able to watch a, a variety of different videos and different platforms like Amazon Prime and Netflix and the quality when it came to the videos on even on YouTube, Tubi and stuff like that. It did look very clear at that HD quality so I was pr appreciating the fact that all the cube did enhance the you know um, support when it came to the wide vine uh, L1 technology running on here which is going to be a massive you also do get ample storage and memory with the 128 gigabytes of internal storage running on here and so you can get up to 512 of additional storage when you put the sim uh, the SD card in here, but I did notice that as far as the overall performance when running things on the um, T606 octa-core processing chip, it was optimized for both performance and energy efficiency. So it does have a Mali R Mali G uh, 57 GPU, which ensures smooth multitasking. And so, you know, you're, you're going to be able to launch multiple apps on this device. You're also going to be able to, you know, um, get a lot of work done on here and also do a lot of gaming as well. I was trying to actually attach my Xbox Live account to this thing, but I wasn't able to do any cloud gaming. So I just wanted to throw that out there. But as far as the overall experience that I was getting while using this, this thing was a solid 
tablet overall for the price point so i can highly recommend it but let me know what you guys think about the older cube i play 60 light in the comment section and just type down below in the comments i'm still here so i know you're still kicking it with me and i just want to remind you to hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people and i'll hit you back i'll check you guys later peace later crew